All in your trailer, bro. She just stood there and accepted that, huh? Big ass. Uh, big ass uh, black fan. Hey, good? Need you now. So, hero, what's the plan? Oh, goofy. Uh, how about good? Goofy ass, fat ass. She ain't doing any of that moving in real game though. That's for sure. Oh yeah, isn't that like the new heirloom or some shit? Isn't this supposed to be like a new legend right now? What is going on, bro? What is bro aiming at? What is bro aiming at? Nah, Gibraltar was aiming at shit. Me. See, in game now, that shit don't do anything to her. In game now, she don't get stunned that fast and that easily. Cossack will not get taken down that fast. Is that World Is that World S 2.0? You ready for another round, shooter? Who, 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 who are they talking to? Oh, they're talking to her. The round-headed Asian. You promise? Ain't no way she's still thinking about her child. That nigga is long dead, bro. Forget him. That little kid is long gone, bro. Long gone. You ain't going back in time, little buddy. That kid staying dead. Oh, there's a new main mode. What is this? Straight shot? What's this about? Oh, let me see. Straight shot is a faster stream version, Apex game, fast mechanic. Basically, Apex Legends, but faster. Oh, is there a new gun? What's that? What's that? Is that a Havoc? Oh, yeah, Battle Pass out. I'm gonna go ahead and grind this. I grinded last season, might as well. Add a new heirloom. There's a new heirloom, right? No, it's just heirloom shards. So they're really gonna make you spend 500 bucks for heirloom shards when you can just buy regular packs and get it cheaper. That's wickedy wickedy wild. Where's the heirloom? Oh yeah, they added this tier system shit. I don't wanna do that. We'll see challenges about. Free packs though. Fifth anniversary. No, it's fifth year of Apex. It's been that long. Stormpoint first map. Oh my god. Oh man. It doesn't seem like there's anything new. What is this gun in the screen then? What is that? What is this? Looks like a Havoc. This literally looks like a Havoc but with heavy attachment. Like, did they change the, the type of thing that is? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Like, some type of perk. I didn't think they meant by body shield perks. It's a pretty unique concept. I can't lie. Pretty unique. I want to see if they change anything. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Oh, look. They made it holographic. Oh, they changed it up completely. I picked up a Red Evil one. It gives me the health, but you can still level it up to get those perks, I see. What's that? A new level and an upgrade to choose. Beautiful. What? A uh, instant level? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What? I leveled up. Time to refine my skills. They added a battery pack to this game. Of course, I only deserve the best. Shut the fuck up, Bobo. Apparently, they removed shield swaps for some reason. I should choose battery an upgrade. Packs. The most valuable. Oh yeah, how do you choose natural. upgrades? How do you? Oh, that's how you choose it. Extra item for black market. What is cost? Like I main cost. Like I want to see what is. Nothing new. Oh yeah, care oh they put the EVA back in the care package. Oh snap! What did they take out? What was the gun also? I know it was Wingman. Some it was the Prowler, right? So the Prowler is out again. Let me see that. What a Prowler? Out? No select fire though, so it's a burst. Only burst. Double tap though. They put the fucking hammer round on the EVA 8, that's actually wild, instead of giving it the double tap perk. 
Does the hammer round even make it better? Or like, I mean, I guess it does. Not really though. Doesn't really do that much damage now, does it? It has good accuracy though. I guess it's. I guess it does the same amount of damage as the hammer round Mozambique or two taps main body. So like, let's see, one, two, yeah, a two taps reg. Honestly though, it would have been better with a double tap perk Eva 8 than the hammer round. It's not that good. I'm gonna be honest. Regenerate HP while inside smoke. Sand that caustic. Reduce ult cooldown by 60 seconds. That's wild. Auto ping enemies who trigger double time. That could be useful. That could be useful for Bane. Let's see the other characters. Back on me, fate. Short speed bus of successful knuckle cluster hit. Fate 25 bus explosive damage. See nearby oriences through walls and in death box. Save 50% less damage and no slow effects from other load. So basically, speed boost, less grenade damage type shit. Fuse. They try to destroy me. What about you? But I keep coming back. Gain an arc star charge. Don't know what that means. Arc stars remain in play for 24 seconds and can catch multiple enemies. W for Ash mains. W for Ash mains. Call out number of squads. Using passive it tracks any positions on the map for 60 seconds. That's for try hard Ash mains right there. W try hard Ash mains. And Maggie's back from the sin bin. Increase death and width of tactical by 50. So a big ass drill Organic drill or right drill charge reduce activation. I, I think it makes it shorter. I'm not sure Wrecking ball catches fire and explodes in thermite That's actually pretty cool. Auto reload shotguns Auto reload shotguns when knocked that might be actually overpowered if you're a shotgun Maggie Maggie Meg's with the upgrade. Start. Fireball I want to see what this fireball is about. Oh, two. oh, two! That's actually wild. So our ultimate is an overpowered ball with thermites in it. That could be very powerful. Still what about this old guy? Do you really think a flesh wound here could? Smart bullet duration and world is tripled. Don't know what that means. Smart bullets found its mark. Tripled? Oh wait, duration? Oh, so it makes it like stun them for a longer time. Okay. Gain a smart bullet charge. What does that mean? I've selected an upgrade. I don't really know. I may I think it makes you go faster. Reveal the most vulnerable item in care package. So basically, what control legends have before, I mean with the, those legends that can spot the care package and see what's in it. See what ammo is in death boxes, alright. What does that do exactly? Oh, you can hold on to two now, right? Yeah, you can hold on to two of them when you have that for, so you can shoot two bullets at once, interesting. Have fun. I saw the, I saw the TED talk where you can like swing as a monkey. Grapple cooldown will set on knocks. So when you knock people, you got the grapple instantly. So tap on your main, you could be swinging like monkeys when they could be knocking people. Gain access to survey beacons. Gain access. All right, that perk is pretty mid. Take 25 less damage when riding. Enter. Yeah, I guess when you're riding a zip line, you take less damage. Honestly, that perk not as good as this perk. So you use it. All right, so I used it. I have no ammo. Uh, it has to be on lock, right? It doesn't work on bots. So that should be powerful for Pathfinder means. What about Wraith? Nigga DN is the guy that likes to use this character every single game. Reduce tactical tool by 5 seconds. I know for a fact that man's gonna love that perk. Warrants enemies nearby squad count increases. That's mid compared to this. This one is the best one automatically. Reduce tactical windup by 20. I know he's gonna love that as well. Reduce ultimate. I know he don't give a shit about his ultimate. He's gonna be wanting that phase ability. This is gonna be his perks every single game. Fast ass. And it should be reduced by five seconds. I know he's gonna be phasing like a monkey, best believe. Good for DNs. What about Octane? 
What a rush. Take 25 less damage. Take 25 less stim damage. That might be powerful. Change directions when launching jump pad. That's actually interesting. Gain an extra jump pad charge. That's a good one right there. Two jump pads at once? Bro, that's actually powerful. That's a W for all the means. Stem. I'm, unless you. It takes less stem damage. I don't really see the damage effect. I'm not sure. Pretty powerful for all the means. All the are succeeding. What about Revenant? Shout out pounds, cooldown, or something. Knock, same with Pat Thunder, knock somebody. You could be jumping like a monkey. What about this? Charge time reduced by 20. So you could reduce the charge by 20, or you could do it by knock. Call out number of squads within 150 when the squad wipe. So every time you knock a squad, I guess it reveals the enemy. Reduce tactical cooldown by 5. So yeah. Revenant mains, they could be. They could be z zipping and adapting like monkeys, and they could just be. They could do the guy that did that judge in court faster. What about Hawaii? Back, I guess it was only a flesh wound. Reduce ultimate cooldown at 30, so you can spam nades at people. Reduce tactical cooldown by 5, you get the zip line up faster. Look at that. That goes faster now, I think. See your nades in your walls. Shield battery count shown on death box. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with the horizon means. I feel like the only W thing here is the O of this. These two, they're pretty alright. I guess you can see death boxes with batteries now. <laughs> I guess if you want to see them bats, bro. Increase jetpack fuel by 25. Batteries can fly from that has to know. Modify missile swarm pattern from 4 times 3 to 3 times 5. So I'm assuming it shoots at a different range. It has a wider range, right? Yeah, it has a wider range. Let me see the normal. I'm back, oh. darlings. Guess it was only a flash wound. Yeah, so her passive, wider range. This just makes the jet fuel longer. Increase horizontal speed. Launch 15% higher with sky dive, so basically a higher jump pad on you. I mean dive fuel. The fucking the beans on top of the sky, that thing. We can use that jump tower. Jump tower, whatever. Fuel. Upgrades. Wings out. I'm guessing you can fly higher now. There's also that horizontal thing that makes it faster, right? Upgrades strapped in. All right. So basically, it says horizontal. I don't know what horizontal is. I'm pretty stupid. I think it makes you go faster sideways. I don't know. But now. Gain 25 HP on Nox while Ultimate is active. So Blood on Ultimate's gonna go crazy with extra health every knock they get. Double the duration of tactical full body highlight. Oh, so I'm thinking you get two, right? I've chosen an upgrade. All five, give me sight. What does that what does that mean? Double the duration? Am, am I am I stupid? Am I stupid? Tactical cooldown minus five tactical cooldown, 25 old charge with white ravens. So for bloodhounds, when they just pick those white ravens up in the ground, their old gets charged by 25 percent. That's actually wild. Or they could have a faster cooldown. I'm assuming this passive makes it, I don't know, scan longer or. Highlights them longer. I'm not sure. I'm not a blood on me. That's up to them. Crypto. They're like EMP range. Increase. So basically, when he uses the drone, it has a bigger range when he stuns people. Deploying his drone calls out the squads in the area if they're nearby. Reduce tactical by 10 seconds. People will be throwing that drone left, right, and center. Reduce ultimate by 30. This plus this equals fast. EMP breaks. So crypto mans have that fast EMP broke. I'm back, my friend. Thank you. About you. Increased range of ultimate thrown. So you can that throw is ultimate long as hell. Increased tactical scan duration by 1.5 seconds. So it makes them scan longer. Increased passive and tactical range by 25. Passive and tactical range. So I'm assuming long distance scans again. 
faster in moving while using passive. So when you're a steer man, you pat you, you scan somebody, you run faster. Simple. It's as simple as that. So the steer man's could go zoom being across the map. They tried to get rid of I want to try what the perks are. They Let's go. Install the necessary upgrade. This upgrade is a good fit. So like. Oh, oh, look at that range, bro. You see that range? It's done him. Him. That's crazy. Crypto man's got that range. What about her? Refresh tackle on her. Oh. So every time you get a hit with your sniper, her back gets refreshed. Interesting. Improved tactical double jump. I'm assuming you jump higher. Let's try Let's try it all. That shit went far. Did I curse the range? It creates a double jump. All this accelerant grant plus two bullets. What does that mean? Then access to green. All this grant. All this got my upgrade. Time Wait. to use it. I said reload, right? Oh my god, it went to 25 already. I'm assuming that's what the ultimate does. It makes it go high. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. That could be what it is. I'm stupid. Ultimate's charging up hella fast, though. So for sniper vantages. I saw this side, right? Yeah, I checked all that. I see Big Boy give you. Let's do this, brothers. Increase tactical lifetime by 4 seconds. So, longer bubble, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, the bubble just lasts longer, huh? Alright, what about this? Reduce tactical size and cool down at 25. Tactical size? Wait, let me see. It covers that to that. Let's go to your bro tool. I have come to save the day. Maybe. <laughs> size. <laughs> yeah, it's small as hell. But you get it faster. So if you want a small bubble and faster time, go for this. If you want a longer bubble and bigger, go for that. Auto reload shotguns on Nog, so give you shoddy. Revive allies to 50 HP. Oh! So when you revive somebody as your tool, instant 50 HP. They don't, you don't, gold knock. It's gonna give them more HP, but you know. Good for revive, Gibby means. Auto shotgun. It's gold wave. Coming in. Next life on care package is a supply drop. Wait, so you're telling me Lifeline mains can get a care package weapon off of her second supply drop? That's wild, bro. What's this one? Gain a self self revive as Lifeline is wild. Reduce tactical tool on. You get the drone faster. You can heal your teammates. Increase revive speed. Reviving your teammates faster. Lifeline has a powerful revive perks. I want to see what this one's about. I want to try this one. Where's the... Where's the ultimate accelerants? Where they at? Where they put them? I want to see if this one's accurate. So it says the next one should be a care package, right? Oh shit! It is! It's a bow check out the lifeline care package. Yo, lifeline mains are doing good right now. If you're a lifeline main, you can get your care package. You can get a care package weapon straight to you. So let's talk about you want a Kraber, have that shit delivered to you. Or if you want to have a self revive, get your ass off the ground, bro. All right, so yeah, only one care package. Every one care package, lifeline gets a care package weapon. So this is all one time thing. It's a one-time thing. It's a one-time thing. Let me switch characters. Self revive. You could dead ass self revive yourself just like old times, bro. Yeah, left line definitely has it. Left line's overpowered. Left line's overpowered. Alright, let's go Mirage. See what you got. Mirage to the rescue. After being rescued. For first talent. So every time you bamboozle somebody, you can throw another bamboozle. Infinite bamboozles can activate both. At Gain a decor charge. I, I, I'm not. I'm not smart enough to know what this means. 
Gain a decoy charge, can activate both at once. Allies are revived with health regen up to... Oh, shite! So, every time you revive your team as Mirage, they get 75 health. So that bigger, bigger res than Gibraltar. Better res than Gibraltar. Get an oil decoy. Reduce cooldown by 30. So yeah, Mirage got that decoy span advantage. Oh, yeah. They just be going ham with it. Oh, you can throw two decoys. So this is what it does. I think, yeah, you can throw two now. You can throw two decoys with that passive. And you can throw it faster, bro. Mirage could be spamming decoy. I know the mains could be spamming decoys every time they get the chance. I just know they are. Lobo. Extra item. Lobo can take extra items. So she could get three items from that. So if you want three. Her range is 25. Tactical. Height and range. So if you want, if you want her ult to have a better range, go for this. If you want to have a longer jump drive, go for that. If you want to have a cooldown, or you want to take three items. Me personally, I'm gonna go with the ult because I'm gonna loot goblin. Look at that range, bro. Look at that range. They went all the way over there. You saw that? God damn. Hey, look, I could get three. I don't know by I don't know if your teammates can or if it's just you. But hey. My favorite kind of loot. The kind that's all mine. Alright, it's cool. So Lobo Lane's got that extra loot advantage. And it's passive advantage. What about Newcastle? You got any amazing red abilities on you, Rez? Increase mobile shield speed to weapon sprint speed. I'm assuming this perk makes your mobile shield go faster as you run to rough somebody. Mobile show has extra 250 health. So these two passives, you want an extra sh mobile shield, extra health, go for that. <clears throat> you want the speed? Oh my god. Look at that speed. Newcastle mains are rushing in. They're rushing in with their slide. So if you want to rush as Newcastle, go for that. If you want to play defense, get the extra health. Allies are revived. Newcastle and Mirage, they just have better revives than Gibraltar. Gibraltar is just mid compared with them. Like, it's crazy. 250 wall extended and duration. Oh! Newcastle's ultimate. Extra HP. And it lasts for two minutes. So that's a little electrical barrier. It lasts longer. It lasts longer. Interesting. So you can revive people. So yeah, these Newcastle mains, they can start rushing hard, bro. They're going hard with the rush. R.I.P. Gibraltar, he's like the only fat boy that only gets 50 reds. Playing Gibraltar is just not worth it. Newcastle, Newcastle might just be the better fatty. Unless you want that bubble. I heard about this new legend. What's her about? Each ultimate jammers. I don't know what the fuck that means. Shield battle count on death block. I guess if you want to see the death block shield batteries, bro, go ahead. Each ultimate jammer's damage radiation increase. Oh, her oh, her little energy ball sacks of fields. I'm pretty sure they're radius, so I'm thinking about it gets bigger. That's what I'm thinking about. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at the range. Let's see if it's. So it's going from, it's like a long little circle. It's going to take all the way over here and around. Now what does her normal old look like? So my my it looks a pretty, it looks the same to me. I'm, I don't know what radius means, bro. Wait, wait. I think the radius makes it bigger. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking it does. Increased tactical. So I guess the range is faster, it's still about to be CPU. Gain a tactical charge, but ha. Increased tactical range by 10 meters. So, oh! This one makes a tactical, so let's say your teammate's far away. Usually you don't reach, but with this you reach if they're like 10 meters farther. Gain a tactical charge, but have short regeneration. What does that mean? Can I shoot two at once? Is that what that means? Yo, this this bot needs to stop making noise, bro. I better pick 
I'm so I'm oh this is two. I think you have I think you hold on to two now. Regen your yeah you hold on to two. So this one you have two of the shields, so you can get both your teammates up with extra health if you got no shields. And this increases your tactical range. All right, so basically, if you're our main, if you're this, if you like to main this character, you can spam your side and get a bigger dome radius. Or if you want to see three batteries, go ahead, bro. I already checked this one out, right? Yeah, vision, HP, increase ultimate. Oh, so basically. I can throw my gas high as farther now. Let's go, bro. It gets ultimate area effect by 50. Oh my, does that mean a bigger range? I'm so, wait, let me see. Let me see what that means. Taking up from here to there. Let's try it normally. Alright, go ahead and disappear from me. Alright, so yeah, bigger range, and you can heal inside of the gas, WW, vision persists for longer, I'm assuming you have 4k vision through your gas, so if you want a high, bigger range ult, go for that, if you want to throw your gas traps across the universe, go ahead, me personally, I'm going to go with the ult, because I like to rush people, alright, let's go Watson, let's see what she got, place up the two pythons with hash, shield region, capture. Wait, so basically, double ultimate HP and shield re So basically, this one doubles the ultimate health, and you get double the amount of shields regen. So let's say you get cracked, let's say it heals you fully, you get cracked again, it heals you fully again. So double the heals instead of only one time. This one, you can hold on to two of them, but it won't heal you all the way. So whenever you see this little icon, these two, that means double the amount. Revive allies to 50 HP, same as your build tool. Or Python spawns arc stars. What? So I'm putting it here. Let me throw a grenade. Wait. Wait, where's? Am I too dumb to understand how this works? I might be too dumb. I might be too dumb, guys. Oh, it spawns in your hand. So if, if an enemy throws a thing at you, it gives you arc star. So Watson man is the guaranteed arc star is. And her pass is if you want to hire adult me or have two, go ahead. Arc star spamming Watson med method. I can't speak. So Watson man get that arc star man. It's pretty lit. Not gonna lie. What about rampart? Ultimate. Reduce ultimate cooldown at 30, so you can spam that minigun faster. W. Carry extra ammo per stock. So let's say if you want a rampart, man. You want that faster ult, or do you want to have extra bullets? Let's see how much you can carry with this passive. Is it the same as Bangalore, where you can hold on to 80 instead of 60? Let's see. Yeah, so basically extra bullets, or faster ult was... Mobile shield. Wait, whoa. Oh, so this one with your ultimate, when you have to reload that, if you're on the turret mode, not just holding it, you can reload it fast behind amp cover. With Sheila. Okay, so does that mean I will hold up? All right, here's a regular reload. Pretty slow. Oh my God. That speed is insane. That's like the, that's like when you shoot. Okay, that's a regular reload. So that's basically the wingman all. Let's just see the low. See, look, when you get the two, this is faster though. That's faster, yo. If you're on a rampart main, you could spam somebody's entire existence away. Rampart mains can start one v three now with this fast reload behind them cover thing. I'm assuming this ultimate just makes it spin in a circle like a full on turret. Let me see what that does. You can't do a full 360. I'm disappointed by that. I was thinking they can make you do a full 360. 
Oh! So this ultimate makes you shoot your turret faster. So like regularly, you, it just makes you go 20 times faster. All right, so basically, you want to have fast and insane reloads behind your cover, or do you want to pull out your ultimate fast as hell and just start beaming people? So Rampart man's got to choose what, what, what they want faster. That's pretty W. That's pretty W. Took me a minute to figure that out. And last but not least, the transgender. Increase spike throw rage by 40. Interesting. Alright, so. Do you want to have two spike thrones or do you want to have a longer range? So do you want to be like one, two? How, how fast can you throw it regularly though? Hold up. I need to see the range on this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go as far, I'm gonna go way up. The dark pierces through. Right, so I'm assuming I was standing over here, right? Oh my god! That right, it went through the clouds. It went through the clouds, so the range is insane. I don't know if this makes you hold two. Am I stupid? Does she always hold two? It's not a she, it's a he. What am I it's a A. What am I talking about, bro? Increase max number of active spikes by one. Wait. I don't know, bro. I'm assuming it makes you like have more spikes on the thing. I'm just gonna assume you I don't I'm I'm, I'm not too smart for that. Increase ultimate length by fifteen meters. Increase ultimate life time. I don't know what the ultimate is. I never use the ult. Oh, the spike wall. I remember now. So you want you want to have a longer ult. You want to have that thing go across the world, or do you want to have this thing last a little bit longer? Normal range. Doesn't reach the decoy. Let's try again. But with the passive. That was a nice communion with the earth. Nothing says hero incoming like a Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It touched him, bro. It infected him with goo. Alright. These passives are pretty lit. These passives are pretty lit. They're pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these passives are insane, some of them are alright. So that's all the that's all the that's all the legends. And they're passive upgrades, bro. Some of these are powerful, some of these are lit, some of them are cool, you know. They done put the EA in the care package. I'm pretty I think I'm done reviewing this season. I think I'm done with all the reviews. I haven't done one of these videos since like five seasons ago. Five seasons, yeah. So I don't know what the shield's about, hold up. Let me chest the shield again. So if I have a it's already max double for me. I have an instant red. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Can I like get off with my instant max? Wait, so if I drop my red, I pick up a blue, it's instant red. Instant, nah. That's actually powerful. So when you max out, right? So let's say you're common, but you're level one and you pick up red. You get red, right? But if you max your level and you find these, any shield, white, blue, purple, you pick up, instant red. That's actually pretty lit. That's actually lit. That's actually lit. You can't shield swap. I'm pretty sure you might. I might. You might be able to. You should be able to shield swap. Should be able to shield swap. Future me here. I tested out the shield swap. I think it still works. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to test it out. But you should be able to still shield swap this season. Overall, this season is pretty lit. The perks are all right. I know. I know for a fact. Me and my boy DNs, we're gonna have some fun playing this. I know he's gonna be phasing like a, a goddamn bumba clap, or whatever. But like, yeah, pretty lit. The perks are lit. I could. I should have reviewed all of them, but I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. But hey, using perks. My I, my personal favorite perks are probably the ones with Lifeline, Loba, and Newcastle, and Caustic. And m m there's probably more. I don't remember anymore. I just finished editing. But yeah. New season, new drop, pretty lit, perks all right, W.